playing this weekend, football team? No, one of them maybe. The Raiders one? Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Cal didn't. We didn't, we didn't do well. <laughs> we didn't get your thoughts on Saturday's scrimmage. Uh, how did you think the team played on Saturday? Uh, I thought they did great. Did you guys talk to the coaches? Mm -hmm. How'd they do? <laughs> They said they did great. Okay, I'm gonna go with the the coaches that day. They, they they said they did great. They did no, they they did great. Uh, I thought the guys competed. Um, you saw the competition. Um, a lot of times those things can be um, all star ish in the sense of a lot of laps, uh, a lot of free layups. But I thought the guys, uh, the whole team competed and went into overtime, um, and uh, it was good. No one got hurt. Uh, health was good. But I, I love the way they they, they competed, um, especially with all those people that were you know showed up to see that game. Any one or two players that stood out to you? Uh, Timmy shot the ball extremely well. Um, I thought Hardy played well. I thought Josh, he did well. Uh, Luca was Luca. Uh, he was he was pretty good. Um, I, I, again, I can mention everyone had did something. I thought uh, C Wood did uh, did well. Um, Maxi. Um, I leave anybody out. Uh, Spencer did well, thank you. Uh, Josh, uh, everybody did well. Uh, the whole roster. But I, you know, I thought just that the whole the competition. Um, both teams wanted to win, and that that's fun. That's the environment that we've created here here in the last uh, last year. Is similar. Got you know, everybody wants to win. There's only one team that's going to win, and I thought you saw that you know Saturday afternoon. And then I thought the coaches. I thought. Uh, KT did great and uh, does did great. How's, how's Tim been moving through the first week or so of camp? Now, does he seem like he's about what he was before? Yeah, I think Tim is doing well. I think getting some of the rust off. Uh, it, it didn't look like he was rusty uh, on Saturday. He shot the ball extremely well. Uh, he's playing well. His voice is being heard, which uh, is great. Not just uh, hearing it from the sideline like last year cheering, but like now. Uh, he's playing and still and still using that voice, which uh, is is much needed with our group. And then um, again, I, I think it's just a matter of getting some of that rust. We'll see on uh, the upcoming preseason games how much time we can get him on, on the floor to get some of that rust off. How hard is that for a guy to have that much time where he wasn't playing? But to, yes, it was a scrimmage, but to find his rhythm like that that quickly? Yeah, uh, the find his rhythm that quickly, and then also in in the building, like we haven't practiced there. Um, we haven't spent a lot of time there. Um, so just to see uh, that he, he found his rhythm uh, and his groove early um, and shot the ball well. So now uh, for us to build on that and then for our group to spend a little bit more time over there to get used to that building. What have you seen out of Frank this first week of training? Uh, Frank has been, you know, who, who we expected, um, someone who's going to run the team, uh, play defense and uh, knock down open shots. So I, I think he's. He's done it. Yeah, there's no, been no surprise with him. He's had a good first week, and uh, and today's Monday. It's always tough after a day off. Uh, but I thought the guys did a good job today. Did I see Davis was sitting out of the scrimmage or something? On yeah, his yeah. He, his knee is a little sore, um, and so he he was held out today. Is he the only one? Nobody else. Yeah, that anything? was that was the only one. Jason Christian talked uh, at media day how much work he's been putting with Sean, uh, especially defensively. You know, it's a different system than you know, what they're running in Detroit, but you know they do have the shared history. What steps or or what is, what are you looking for from Christian to kind of get a sense that he's grasping the you know the established concepts that you guys have defensively? Yeah, I think uh, Sean. They have a report from Detroit, and so uh, being able to lean on that, Sean's shown him. Um, They've spent a lot of time watching video uh, and on the floor during the workouts. Uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, this is something new for him, but uh, he'll be, I think, up for that challenge uh, on the defensive end. We all know what he can do on the offensive end. So uh, as we've said to uh, our best player, if you can participate, you got a good chance of having some success on the defensive end. So if he can participate, uh, he'll be able to play. I remember last season, it was probably December when the players started saying, yeah, yeah, this is when we really started grasping it. Is it easier, harder, different if you're adapting one person versus bringing in a, a system for an entire roster? Of yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, you might have to ask them that. I think the group that's here understands what we're looking for. And I, and I think uh, a lot of times player to player uh, coaching uh, advances any system faster. 
And so when we have guys uh, that understand what we're doing that can help Seawood, I think it just it puts him in a better situation of uh, understanding what we're doing uh, defensively and can help speed up the process. So hopefully that's the case. Do you see Seawood playing much with JaVale or like seven for one? Yeah, they can both. Uh, I won't rule out that they both uh, can play at the same time on the floor. Uh, both uh, complement each other uh, skill sets. Uh, JaVale is going to tell you he can shoot threes. So uh, both have big men that can shoot the ball. So that, that, that'll that be good. But we'll see if that at some point we have those guys out there. A lot of the NBA ties on that Arkansas staff. Yeah, that, 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 the NBA uh, runs deep in that staff. Uh, <laughs> It's a really cool staff uh, being able to spend some time with those guys today. Jason, just three preseason games this year. Is that a is that a challenge going and trying to get everyone integrated together, see some younger guys? I know oftentimes you get four <laughs> preseason games. Is is three more challenging? Yeah, you know this is something new. Um, I, I wanted to see uh, less preseason games just to to have the the data to see how we handle it. Um, a lot of teams are playing four or five or six. Uh, so uh, I went on the other side to see if we can play three. Um, we'll, we'll have an internal uh, scrimmage, I think, on Wednesday over at the arena. But uh, we kind of got the core back, so we'll see how, how that ha handles, uh, you know, less minutes uh, in practice in, in, a, in a preseason game for these younger guys. But... Uh, I'm also looking for the guys who played heavy minutes. Uh, they won't have to participate in too many uh, preseason games. We'll just see how it goes. It, it could be something that we don't ever do again, or if the players say they like it, it'll be something that we'll do again. Are you going to the Rangers game tonight to see Judge hit home run, home run number 62? Yeah, you know what? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> maybe I can catch a double header tomorrow. Um, but I, no, uh, I told our coaching staff, maybe we should all go buy tickets and sit in the outfield. <laughs> and whoever can come up with catching the ball um, is, is in charge of throwing the party. There you go. I looked on SeatGeek, about uh, 312 bucks will get you that ticket there in left field bleachers. Oh, I think we can we can get that done. <laughs> <laughs> so just want to make sure he's in the lineup before we, we push, <laughs> push the, 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 the green button. Uh, great question. Um, I haven't seen it yet, um, but I will uh, make sure that I catch up on. And I don't know if I'm I'm involved. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm not. Uh, that, that that's for Dirk and and Jason Terry and all those guys that are uh, those numbers that are retired up in the, in the Raptors. Let's talk about the Lakers documentary. Oh, Lakers? Lakers oh, Lakers oh no. I, I, I'm not involved in that either. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Guys are tired of Lakers. Yeah, that, that, they got enough uh, legacy guys. That I'm not involved in that. Thanks, guys. Thank you.